My name is Samantha Petchy, and I'm a lifelong resident of Warren, Illinois. Alan Wenzel from Freeport, Illinois. I taught and worked at Highland Community College for 39 years. I am Delbert Scheider. I live 12 miles northwest of Freeport, Illinois. Well, I was on the founding board, but before that, there were certain things that had to be done in order to uh, start a community college. The uh, Freeport School District had their Acres for Education program where they raised money to buy a farm on which we later built the campus. My very first involvement with Highland was when my grandparents, who were very proud of the campus that had been built just west of Freeport for the new Highland Community College, brought me to campus and drove me around to show me the new buildings uh, one Sunday afternoon. And that was the first time I remember ever being on the campus of Highland. I think Highland has grown several ways. Um, the biggest one I can think of is technologically. I can remember 2004, students had never heard of hybrid online classes. And now, um, being from the Western District, that's what a lot of people want. Um, I can also think of program-wise. In 2004, there are buildings here now that didn't exist when it first began, when I became a student. Um, the wind technology is huge. I expect that that Acres for Education program accomplished two things. One, it raised money to locate the campus, but also it solicited support from throughout the district. When you work at a community college, you really have to be thinking about how can we engage with the community that surrounds us. You know, if, if we're not doing that, if we're not a part of the community, then we're just like any other university that gets plunked down into a town or a, or a village or a city. And we're not like that. Uh, we, we have to be uh, very closely, working very closely with the people who support us uh, with their time and resources and dollars, uh, because that's, that's what we're about. That we, we exist because they want us to exist in their community. And we need to be a part of that and, and need to be reaching out whenever we can to um, pull folks into our, our circle of, um, hey, we're here to help and what can we do for you?